Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to share with you a summary of a poem, A Things of Beauty by John Keats. So without further ado, let's get started. In first stanza, John Keats speaks of the permanent in nature of beautiful things which gives us eternal joy. Their loveliness keeps on increasing and never fades away. The everlasting beautiful sight of beautiful things is stored in our memory. They give us peace just like a quiet steady place gives us sleep full of sweet dreams. A sound sleep results in good health of our body and mind as it provides us tranquility and mental peace. In stanza 2, when we wake up the next morning after a sound sleep, all the beautiful memories of our dreams helps us to strengthen our bond with art. That is why the poet feels that every morning we, we prepare a wreath of flower that binds us to art more strongly. Hopelessness, sadness and law of noble ways are a part of human life. Life is full of trials and tribulations, lose faith and disappointments which result from our own doing. We harm ourselves by following unhealthy and wicked paths. In spite of all this, some wonderful sight of nature helps us to set sad and grim thoughts. They remove the veil of gloom, bringing about hope and optimism in our lives. In stanza 3, poet now goes on to list these objects of beauty. He says that the sun, the moon, old and the young trees which provide set to sleep, the daffodils, the greenery surrounding them, the cool and the clear streams which provide respite in the heat of summer and the bushes growing in the forest with mox roses blooming amidst them are all eternal source of joy and pleasure. In stanza 4, poet adds on further to his list, according to him, there is a beauty even in the death. He finds beauty in imaginary stories people have made about our death ancestors who were deemed as heroic and mighty. The poet goes on to say that all the lovely tales and we have heard can be placed amongst such things of beauty as they have a sublime effect on human spirit. All beautiful things are like an endless fountain from the heaven sent by the God himself so that mankind may enjoy this precious gift.